Welcome to sixth grade reading. You have a read and comprehension skill sheet 41. This is the second to last one. Make sure that you read it carefully. I know that it's timed, but uh, make sure that you're thinking clearly as you're reading through that and that you are answering the questions as best to your um, uh, best to your ability and, and see how you can figure those out. So that is, you may pause the video, go take that read and comprehension skill sheet quiz, and then come back and we will look at um, the, we're gonna, you're gonna finish the story today of Antonio and Bassanio and Shylock. All right, I hope you did well on that quiz. We are looking at pages 267 to 272 out of Of America 2. We're finishing the story, The Merchant of Venice. <clears throat> We're also looking at vocab list 33. So before I it get you into the story, uh, let's say this vocab list 33 together one time through. Um, so wetting, sharpening, wetting, loophole, a way of escape, loophole. Vermin, insects or rodents that are destructive, vermin. Ermine, a soft white fur, ermine. Consternation, terror, consternation. Swarthy, dark, swarthy. Kith and kin, friends and relatives, kith and kin. Subterraneous, underground, subterraneous. Brook, tolerate, brook. Tabor, a small drum, tabor. All right, so make sure that you review those words. You're not writing them tonight, but you'll write them again Thursday night. Friday will be the quiz over those words, all right? So we're picking up on page 267, and uh, Bassanio has some boxes to choose from. So um, the message that is inscribed in the leaden one says, who chooseth me must give and hazard all he hath, okay? This message did not sound encouraging to most people, but Bassanio was attracted to it. He must have known that true love involved giving oneself for the sake of someone else. He chose the leaden casket and found Portia's picture inside. Portia gladly admitted now that she loved Bassanio. Nerissa, her faithful maid, asked Portia if she would allow her to marry Bassanio's friend, Gratiano. This Gratiano had come to Belmont with Bassanio and had asked Nerissa to marry him. How happy Portia was for Nerissa, who had been more of a friend to her than a servant. On the very day of their weddings, news arrived from Venice that every one of Antonio's ships had been destroyed. Since the date of, on the document was already passed, Shylock was demanding Antonio's payment in flesh. Bassanio, who had told Portia how poor he was when he first met her, now explained that he was worse than poor. That is, he owed money to Antonio. When Portia found out about Antonio's plight, she assured Bassanio that all her wealth was now his also. She urged him to take some money and travel quickly to Venice to try to save Antonio. All right, and I'll let you finish the story to page 272 and find out what happens to Antonio and Bassanio. All right, and <clears throat> we'll let, I'll let you go, and we'll see you in the next lesson.